this is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary and Joseph had promised to get married, but before they started to live together, it became clear that she was going to have a baby. She became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, was faithful to the law, but he did not want to put her to shame in public, so he planned to divorce her quietly. But as Joseph was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She is going to have a son. You must give him the name Jesus. That's because he will save his people from their sins.
All this took place to bring about what the Lord had said would happen. He had said through the prophet, The virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son, and he will be called Emmanuel. The name Emmanuel means God with us. Joseph woke up. He did what the angel of the Lord commanded him to do. He took Mary home as his wife, but he did not stay with her until she gave birth to a son. And Joseph gave him the name Jesus. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are certainly not the least important among the towns of Judah. A ruler will come out of you. He will rule my people Israel like a shepherd. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea. This happened while Herod was king of Judea. After Jesus' birth, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, Where is this child who has been born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose. Now we have come to worship him.
After the wise men had listened to the king, they went on their way. The star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them. It finally stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. The wise men went to the house. There they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures. They gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Thank you.
Hello to the parents, families, and students that make up the Greaves Adventist Academy community. By now I'm sure that you have smiled, shared a laugh or two, maybe even hummed along to some of the excellent musical presentations prepared by the elementary students and teachers. They're simply outstanding. Today as we gather on one of the last days before the end of the calendar year, we take a moment to remember the reason for the season. Christ, our Savior, is born. We pray that your holidays are full of cheer and peace. Be intentional. Bless those around you by showing Christ's love. Remember, he came to bring joy to the world. Let us be like him and do the same. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night and they were taking care of their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Suddenly, a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. They were praising God. They said, May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and may peace be given to those He is pleased with on earth.